Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Avoiding the Crazy Label. And our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, where Paul writes, So anyone who speaks in tongues should pray also for the ability to interpret what has been said. For if I pray in tongues, my spirit is praying, but I don't understand what I'm saying. Well then, what shall I do? I will pray in the spirit, and I will also pray in words I understand. I will sing in the spirit, and I will also sing in words I understand. For if you praise God only in the spirit, how can those who don't understand you praise God along with you? How can they join you in giving thanks when they don't understand what you're saying? You'll be giving thanks very well, but it won't strengthen the people who hear you. I thank God that I speak in tongues more than any of you. But in a church meeting, I would rather speak five understandable words to help others than 10,000 words in an unknown language. Dear brothers and sisters, don't be childish in your understanding of these things. Be innocent as babies when it comes to evil, but be mature in understanding matters of this kind. It is written in the scriptures, I will speak to my own people through strange languages and through the lips of foreigners, but even then they will not listen to me, says the Lord. So you see that speaking in tongues is a sign not for believers, but for unbelievers. Prophecy, however, is for the benefit of believers, not unbelievers. Even so, if unbelievers or people who don't understand these things come into your church meeting and hear everyone speaking in an unknown language, they will think you are crazy. But if all of you are prophesying and unbelievers or people who don't understand these things come into your meeting, they will be convicted of sin and judged by what you say. As they listen, their secret thoughts will be exposed, and they will fall to their knees and worship God, declaring, God is truly here among you. I'm not sure I've ever known anyone who claimed to be super spiritual. I've known several gossips who criticized others, behind their back, of course, that they were such. The point about being super spiritual or holier than thou, a phrase from another era, is that one who's truly so close to God that one gains the reputation of being something of a spiritual giant, well, that kind of person would never claim that status. Humility would forbid it. They would be denying attaining spiritual heights with pride. Consider what God's word said on the matter. James chapter 4 verse 10 says, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up in honor. Matthew chapter 23, 12, the words of Jesus, But those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. And again, James in chapter 4 verse 6, And he gives grace generously. As the scriptures say, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Avoiding the crazy label is a matter of humility and truthfulness. People who show off with their so-called super spirituality or over-the-top humility are those who put off others enough to derail a church's entire ministry. The Apostle Paul spoke of prophesying or speaking the truth about God and humans in a way that exalts the Lord and encourages people. We can shirk that responsibility in more than one way. First of all, we can favor the appearance of super-spirituality, gaining the applause of men, a rather empty sense of accomplishment. And secondly, we can fade into the woodwork in feigned humility, which is a lie, at best, of the greatness of the Holy Spirit residing in your heart. Either of those is not that to which God called any of us. Rather, the body of Christ is to be a working force, every member using his or her gifts appropriately, respectfully, and humbly, so God gets the glory as unbelievers are converted. For you today, our goal as a church is never to approach entertainment or satisfying someone's opinion or preferences, or even just keeping the peace. 
It is to have the mission of Christ effective in our lives, declaring with power that God is truly among us. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.